So you know, just real natural, fresh, which is what I like. Even when I do a very glam look, I still like to look natural and fresh. Hi guys, Naturelle Bombshell here and welcome to my channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is just going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. On my channel, I talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, hair, and anything else you may want to kiki about. If you're interested in any of those things, make sure you click that subscribe button and notification bell so that you can be notified each time that I post. I post weekly videos every Wednesday. Also, make sure you follow me on my Instagram where I share more content. So without further ado, let's get into it. <clears throat> so I'm about to do my makeup. I'm gonna do something just real natural and light. Um, Cause the sun is shining today and it's a little heated. So I am going to go in with I've already primed my face with the Cover FX Gripping Primer. And then I guess I'll just do a little back to every man. I always do this in my T-zone. Girl, she on her last leg, honey. I think I got a backup one though. Let's see, so I've already done my brows. I'm gonna go in with Bare Minerals Matte in Warm Dark. Cause I feel like I got a little bit color and I've been using um, BHAs and AH, AHAs for like my um, skincare cause I'm trying to lighten up this dark spot right here. Girl, nasty. Um, so this has SPF, but I do have a stronger SPF under which is the Super Goop. I think it's 40 SPF Frost Spectrum. So I got this warm dark just swirling and Buffing girl, you already know to use. And usually, when I'm applying and I'm really trying to get like a full, full coverage, I just do you know one side first and then the other side. But like I say, this I'm just making up you know some running, some air, and stuff. And then I'm gonna have on a mask, so I'm not trying to do anything too super heavy. And for some reason, I feel like I am congested. <clears throat> and another thing, um, as you can tell, we're in a different filming space. Well, just, I'm not really like, although I'm filming, this is not like an actual filming video. This is probably more like a blog, a day in the life in Atlanta. Um, but girl, I'm in my boudoir. <laughs> So, excuse that noise, that's my, <laughs> my cushion, my bench that I'm on in my vanity. Girl, and look, I don't know if you can tell, but this is no makeup, and this is makeup. And this is Warm Dark. This is why I say Warm Dark is my color, because it's a little bit more golden. As you can see by my skin, I have a golden olive, warm golden olive undertone. Like, that is my undertone. But some things, if uh, they run too golden or olive, they can almost pull a little bit green and photograph. So that's why I actually like a warmer foundation uh, for photographs because they photograph uh, much better than like a true golden or olive foundation. Like I think golden and olive foundations look nice in person when you see someone, but sometimes filming, they can pull too yellow. Like a lot of times when you watch the Housewives or um, some other uh, confessionals on shows and you see them under those high 
uh, definition lights and it's in high depth they can have like that yellow cast that is because their foundation isn't red warm enough and it's pulling out that yellow So girl, this is really how I do my makeup. Did I do my makeup like this when I went to work the other day? I think, yeah, pretty much. Was, no, 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 I had Cover FX powder on. But yeah, I'm on my way to Target because like I said, when I went to Target last week, <clears throat> girl, it was destitute, honey. up this side and this is really all I'm doing for foundation and I think somebody asked me one time does this transfer on mask uh to be honest I don't get a whole lot of transfer but it's not like this is a transfer resistance like a foundation that necessarily sits to the face but um I don't get a I don't experience a lot of this hair I don't experience a lot of transferring with this foundation. Now, as you can see, it's a tad bit darker, but once I do my <clears throat> highlighting and contour, it'll work out fine. Okay, so I have the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. And this is in the color Butterscotch, which is just a nice uh, golden concealer that'll balance out this warmness. <laughs> and as I said, I really don't have an issue with putting creams <clears throat> or liquid products over mineral foundation because it just kind of like melts into the skin anyway. So, uh, it turns kind of to a creamier texture. So, it's not like a powder, like a finishing type powder that's just sitting on your face. It kind of just melts in. So, I'm gonna let this set for a couple of seconds. And then, I'm gonna go in and blend it out. Y'all, and Bare Minerals sent me so much stuff when we did the Haley Bieber Virtual Beauty School. So, I'm gonna do a tutorial um, on some of the things that they sent me. And you know what? Sharing is caring. So I'm gonna be picking some lucky subscribers and I'm gonna be giving y'all some of the stuff away. Girl, cause they send me buku stuff. So, <clears throat> shout out to Bare Minerals. Thank you <laughs> for all of the goodies that you sent me. All right, so that is the foundation. I'm gonna go in and set the concealer. <clears throat> Y'all, I don't know why my throat is just like, not really itchy, but <clears throat> I just feel like I'm experiencing congestion. I really don't think it's allergies because I really haven't been out. So this is Lori, Laura Mercier's uh pressed powder in or loose powder in honey i actually mix the honey and the translucent one together so um, i'm gonna sit on my own um... 
and I just like to press it. I really don't bake, but I just press whatever I have on my sponge into my skin. There's that. So girl, that's all she doing for face. Other than, now you know we got the bronze a little bit. The contour, is this? I think I'm gonna use Cover Fix Powder. Stay, oh, is that too warm? I have a neutral, hmm. So now I'm gonna go in and just kind of like bronze a little bit. I can use Cover FX Neutral 100. Let me see. I don't think that's giving me the darkness that I want. I don't know why I felt like I had a darker shade than that. So I'm just gonna go in with um, Bare Minerals Clove and I'm just gonna bronze my face. Actually, this really isn't, you know, warm to bronze. This is more like a just soft contour, just bring, it'll bring a little warmth, uh, a little warmth, but it isn't as red as some bronzer. So this works with my contour as well when I'm just doing a simple uh, look, when I don't wanna do like, you know, a cream contour. I'm just doing it as 3E motion. I'm just kind of coming up on my cheeks too. You know, girl, you know we're gonna put on some blush. Actually, I'm not gonna put on blush. I'm gonna put on highlight because clearly I'm gonna have on a mask. So I'm not gonna put on blush. But I'm gonna hit you with that highlighter though. Uh, for highlighter, I'm going in with Cover FX candlelight uh this is just a pretty um girl it's just that you look just like a candlelight it's not too harsh it really just melts in the skin like a natural girl look at that highlighter bam and that's all we doing right there bam And then I am going to use that same brush that I used to bronze. I'm just gonna take it over my eyes and just kind of like warm up my lids. Cause this is how we do it on the eyes. Girl, same. Just tying in a look. Not really doing the eyeshadow. But to be honest, one of my favorite looks is um girl nice brows nice skin and lashes so you know i'm putting on some lashes sick girl just you know nice fresh so let me get my lashes where are my lashes? Are they in here? So if I was to do a blush, um, I would use the Cover FX, um, what is this? Their monochrome, I think it's monochromatic and spice cinnamon. This is such a beautiful color for dark, deep skin. Girl, this is the You know what? I'm just about to put some on just so you can see. Cause this is a pretty, uh, real blush girl and you only need a little like literally just barely touch it. <sighs> and sweep one two three and it just adds like the perfect just nice flush of color and sweep 
Okay guys, so all I just did is uh, pop on my lashes. These are the Kiss Lashes in Pompadour. And um, I really love these. Like these are wispy, lightweight. Like they really feel like I have nothing on my lids. So if you're someone that like gets irritated by lashes or who wants to wear them but feel like they can be too overwhelming or heavy, try these. These are really, uh, geez, these are really lightweight. Yeah, really lightweight and really just kind of pretty wispy um, lashes. So they'll be flattering on, you know, any type of um, makeup look, especially a natural makeup look like this. So lastly, I will go in with lips. So for this look, I will probably use Rihanna's, uh, Rihanna's girl. I mean, well, taking this Rihanna Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, which is like a natural lip color. Or if I wanted to add some, um, you know, other color, a uh, Bare Minerals. You got the gloss bombs. Um, if you have like my color or deeper, then love is it's love. Yeah, love is a really pretty kind of just natural mauve. And then you have this one, heart, which is just kind of like a natural um, pink color. So I'm gonna go in with well, actually, it's kind of like a mauvey pink too. Like it's not really a cool pink. It's really like a or really just kind of like a lighter version of this. So, which one do I want to go in with? Technically, I wouldn't wear anything, any lip, because I'm about to put on a mask, but just to complete this look and show you how it looks on my skin tone or, um, you know, with this look, I'm going to go in with one. So, girl, which one you want to do, honey? Well, since for the most part, we, we can stay in the clean realm. I'll go in with Love. My bare minerals. Girl, love a glossy gloss. I really like these because they aren't sticking. So you're just real natural, fresh, which is what I like. Even when I do a very glam look, I still like to look natural and fresh. So lastly is the hair. I already did my hair. I used the Remington Barrel, Barrel Curl, girl, I might be making it up, but it is Remington Curling Wand out. Pop in the picture and link it below if you're interested in that. And I really like the way, um, yeah, that it curled and, um, Hopefully it'll fall a bit more because I actually like my hair to look a little tussled, not too perfect, to fall a little bit more. And this is a wig by Eunice, Eunice wig. You know, any of this isn't sponsored by the way, girl. I'm just sharing you the tea. Uh, so I will post that um, below as well. I'm gonna pick out a outfit. So I hope you all get to see me in that. And then, I don't know, I may pick out a fragrance too. And she went away a lot of hay. That'll be $50 to my only fans. <laughs> I'm just playing. So let me, let's go pick out, let's go pick out a fragrance. Um, girl, it's gonna be some light and fresh because those are the type of fragrances I really wear. So let's go. So I'm gonna do Times, this is Azure Cologne. Girl, it smells so good. When I say smells like a spa, that's what I, those are the fragrances that I like. Y'all, change your plans. I am going to lunch. I called one of my friends, I was like, you wanna do lunch? Or dinner. At first I was saying do dinner, but I had such a light breakfast because I had anticipated possibly going to brunch. But now, since I'm going to, yeah, I said dinner, but then, um, girl, your girl hungry now, okay? So, by the time he gets here, I'll, um, I'll be ready for lunch. So, I think we're gonna go to Lennox True Food Kitchen, which is really kind of like, you know, healthy, light. I really, let me see, I don't know anywhere that has, we have brunch this late. Cause it is Sunday, so a lot of places have brunch, but brunch usually starts at 
stops at 3 or 3 30 so hmm I'm trying to see some breakfast spots what's the other one South City Kitchen they have really good brunch but I know he's not gonna want to go there um hmm Ooh, breakfast at Barney's is rocking. But child, that line be so long. And then they don't do reservations. That's another thing, too. I have to do reservations. Um, you know, when I'm this hungry. Because I don't mind weight. I mean, patience is a virtue. I'm naturally kind of a patient person. Um, especially when you can't control the variables. Now, if you just put the foot in the round and twiddle, twiddle, twirling, then you're not being efficient but if you can't control the situation then you know obviously i'm patient but girl look like it's about to rain again this is what i'm saying <laughs> atlanta it was just sunny outside it was overcast this morning that's why i feel like it rained earlier this morning and or maybe today just may be like a partly cloudy or mostly cloudy day because the sun is coming in and out so but I'm excited about that. So I'm about to go to lunch. Girl, she's the late. You see how this light is changing now? It's getting darker because it is now. Atlanta won't let you be great. So basically, it's supposed to rain from three to five. Thunderstorms. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, y'all.